little test. Newton's going to demonstrate the damage debris can inflict on a car during a storm. Tornado strength is measured on the Fujita scale. It was developed in 1971 and divides tornadoes into five categories based on wind speed. In 2007, scientists created the enhanced Fujita scale, which is now the standard for measuring tornadoes. It's the EF5 tornadoes that make headlines, but in reality, only 12% of all tornadoes rate higher than an EF1. But even at wind speeds that are not tornado force, damage can still be done. Five, four, three, two, one, launch it. All right, let's, let's check, check it out. out a little bit closer. Well, it hit right on the uh, bump rail part of the car. Yeah. But look at this, the door doesn't even shut proper now. As weatherproof shown, non-tornado wind speeds can definitely damage your car. So what can an EF1 tornado do? It's time for high-speed 2x4 versus car. That's right. Ready? Yep. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! <laughs> that blew in the car. Much difference. How much faster was this one than the other one? A lot. A lot faster? This is upwards of 100 miles an hour. Okay. And uh, maybe even a little over 100 miles an hour. Yeah. A and, significant dent. Yeah, and you can see what it's done. I mean, the window's broke. It wasn't even hitting the window. It hit the door. That wasn't even as fast as it could get going in a tornado. And this is considered a pretty strong door on a car. The EF1 tornado force winds wreaked havoc on our test car. But Newton's not done yet. Are we doing more? Let's do some more. Exhausted and ready to rest, the boys are surprised by Captain Sig's next move. One. Well, again, that was low speed, so we just dented the back seat here. But she's covered in glass, your girl. Exactly, like she's covered in glass. It just hit the door a little higher than we did over there, and it busted the window. Now you got this big hole, and so even if stuff was barely flying in, it's going to hit you or get in the car or get in the vehicle. Right. Newton's test shows that even at low speeds, debris careening into a car can easily cause injury to anyone inside. You got more ammo for us? We got more ammo. Let's crank it up. All right. Newton wants to recreate winds found in the most forceful tornadoes. And to do that, he brings in a little muscle. This is a jet dragster to most people, but to me, it's a wind machine. This jet engine here produces 6,000 pounds of thrust, which out the back with the afterburners on achieves 300 miles an hour of wind. This vehicle. That's life. I, I like this. Send the lady a drink. Glass of tomato juice, two raw eggs, and a shot of vinegar. Huh? A real-life EF5 tornado would blow a car over. Newton's jet is powerful, but a tornado is larger and ultimately stronger. Weatherproof shown that a car is where you don't want to be during a tornado. Hopefully you'd be able to get to something else besides a vehicle uh, in the case of a tornado. But what if your worst nightmare comes true? You're in a car and a tornado is barreling towards you and there is no safe shelter in sight. It's best to drive away from a tornado at a 90 degree angle to the tornado's path. If you can't drive to shelter, you can stay in your car with your seatbelt on. Put your head below the window and cover your head with your hands. If there is a low lying ditch nearby, you can get out of your car and ride out the storm there. Either way, a sturdy building is your best bet for surviving a tornado. Underground storm shelters or a basement are all good options. And since most tornadoes travel in a northeast direction, just make sure to stay away from the west and south walls. Coming up, 
If you are at home when a tornado strikes, does your house have the power to protect you? Newton's going to see if this roof can withstand everything he throws at it. Next on Weatherproof. So I was the guy who was never going to have the heart attack. I thought I was invincible. I'm on an aspirin regimen now because I never want to feel that helplessness again. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. Talk to your doctor and take care of what you have to take care of. Mud. Yeah, Dirt. Do you think the two of us will ever find the one? <laughs> well, we've been left behind by so many mops and brooms. Oh, man. But we have got... See ya. Each other. What about you? Swiffer attracts dirt. The two-in-one Swiffer sweeper uses electrostatic dry cloths to trap and lock more dirt than a broom and uses dirt-dissolving wet cloths to clean better than a mop. You're quite the pickup artist. Two-in-one Swiffer sweeper gives cleaning a whole new meaning.